What is up everybody? Zoo back here once again for part four of my No Man's Sky walkthrough with tips. Okay, so it's been a little while since we recorded one of these, so I can't really remember what we were doing. Um, let's see where we're at. Let's check our log. All right, so we need to return to space and contact Artemis. That's right. We just, in the last episode, I believe, finished the Artemis translator, so... It wants us to go to space now. Okay, and we're getting an incoming message. It's from Artemis, but I'm gonna I'm gonna skip through it because I don't want to ruin the story. Okay, so now after we spoke to Artemis, he wants us to go to the space anomaly. So let's do that. Remember, hit your quick menu, which is down on the D-pad or X and you can warp in the space anomaly or your freighter all right so let's go see not on polo don't forget to talk to Woodface in case you have any uh discoveries to give him he'll give you nanites for him yeah, yeah, if you give him the creatures that you've scanned, he goes mental, and then he gives you nanites. So that's another good way to get nanites early on. Make sure you scan. All right, nada. Okay, now Apollo. Okay, so we spoke to them, and that one search for Artemis it's not really giving us anything right now so let's go back to this one it wants us to locate a hollow terminus okay well, there we go we did a just a scan in space it found the hollow terminus where is it there we go all right and we're at our first hollow terminus. Now, this isn't the only one of these you're going to come to during your playthrough. But this is the first one. So, good to see what they look like so you know what you're looking for. Every once in a while, you'll run across them, you know, random when you're exploring a planet. But they don't really have use unless you're on specific missions. All right, so we go all the way up to the top here. And we're gonna do a little telephone call. All right, we're gonna tune it to Apollo. Whoa. All right, so a new a new char character introduced to the story. I'm gonna skip over this quick. I'm pretty sure you can't really mess up with the choices. I think it's just a lot of them are there to. I mean, there's definitely things in the game that you can um, mess up by choosing the wrong choice, but you can reload. If you if you do do that so okay cool locate Apollo's contact so we need to go back to space go to the galaxy map okay you can see pretty clear it gives this little icon to go over to the neighboring system over here however our hyperdrive has no fuel so before we can do that we need to make some hyperdrive fuel so we need antimatter housing we already had the antimatter so now we can do this warp
Okay, so it's pointing us to the space station. Okay, and here's the contact. Okay, so he's gonna give me some hazard protection and he's letting me choose what I want. I guess uh, we'll go heat. Oh, no, we won't. We need to make some inventory. Um, oh, what do we got here? Uh, there we go. Now you get whoa. Look at look at all this stuff he gave us. Blueprints. Upgrade module. A B class thermal upgrade. Oh, that'll come in ha handy. It's actually um well we for now we'll just have to put it there. That's alright. Alright, let's sell some stuff. Alright, we definitely don't... We need those. That's super important. Um, but do we have anything here we could sell? Uh, we don't need this right now. We don't, we don't need this right now. Or this. Rather have the money, and I don't think we need this either. All right, cool. So now it wants us to go back to our base, to the base computer. So we'll use the portal here. Okay, and here we are back at the base. And wants us to construct a cylindrical room. Or, if we select base computer archives, we could do that first and see what's there, what it has for us. All right, we got a new building part. We got the storage container. So let's see what else we have going on in our log here. All right. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so we got to build a couple things now, but we're gonna need some ferrite dust. So let's get that going. Wants us to build our first storage locker. Okay. Oh, we don't have magnetized ferrite. We need magnetized ferrite for that. All right, well, that's while that's going, there's actually magnetized ferrite right there. Let's go get it. Okay, and here we are back at the base, and now we can build that storage locker. Let's go throw that down. Just so you know, these storage lockers, you can get nine of them. And they do require power, which in the beginning can be a little bit difficult because if you don't have a solid power source, you can't get into them unless you have power. So like, I'm gonna wire this up to our, what do we have? The, the biofuel reactor over here. But it's not gonna work because there's no power in the biofuel. 
But what you should also know about these is that regardless of wh where you build them, the contents will be the same. Even if you go to someone else's base and use their storage lockers in their base, you'll see your inventory. So, regard because like I said in earlier videos, you're likely going to have multiple bases. And you can build these at all of them and, the, and what you have in them carries across to each base. But the best use for them is to build them on your freighter. Once you, once you really get your final freighter that you love, or I, no, you can do it on any freighter. Build them on the freighter because you can warp the freighter in and at a later point, you're gonna get a uh, teleporter or uh, something like that. And it's gonna allow you to be able to check all your storage lockers just from having your freighter in the system. So it's pretty good. All right, so we did base computer archives. Okay, back to Ghost in the Machine. Now it wants us to build uh, one of these rooms. We need 250 pure ferrite for that. Remember, we we got the construction research unit too, and a bunch of salvage data. So we got 15. So we're gonna get some things here. We're gonna get the solar panel. I th well, actually, hold on. All right, we already have the signal booster. Let's get the solar panels. and the battery. Okay, so now we should have enough pure ferrite to do what was it we were doing next? Oh yeah, to build a, a bigger room. All right, let's where can we put this. Nah. And guys, just so you know, this base is definitely one I'm, you know, not going to keep. So I'm just kind of throwing this stuff in around messy. But when you actually build a base that you want to keep, don't ever place these rooms like I'm going to just on the ground because the the terrain will grow through them. The terrain will grow back. So uh, whenever you build with these type of rooms and stuff, you always want to first build the platform up off the ground and then start building them but for this purpose we'll just throw it there okay now it wants us to construct a door is it a re okay so it's it it jumps around the log sometimes so this one's telling me to build a construction terminal And this one wants me to build a door. So let's build the door. We need more pure ferrite. I think that's enough. Okay. So basically this, at this point, it's an, it's more base building tutorial. And, you know, cause we got new blueprints. So it's like, okay, go build this, go build that. So uh, it wants us to construct terminals. So we go down here and wants us to build a construction terminal. Okay, now for this we need about 20 more chromatic metal. Do we have any copper? We don't have copper. So we're gonna need to go mine some. Okay, now let's make some chromatic metal.
Okay, so while that's going, let me explain to you what these terminals are. There's multiple terminals. And these, there's a farming terminal, construction terminal, a science terminal, and uh, like a multi-tool terminal, and an exocraft terminal. I think that's all of them. But what these do is you can actually hire aliens to work at your base. And they will send you on different missions. So again, at this point, though, I would still say we're in tutorial mode. We're learning about bases and that we can hire aliens to work at the base. So, okay, it wants us to build the construction terminal. We could build it in there, but might not look good. Let's see. Okay, now that we're getting into a little bit more kind of crazy building, just so you know, there, if you press down on the left stick, if you're using a controller, that'll get you into the build camera, if you're, or on mouse and keyboard, if you press C, you'll get into the build camera, which gives you a lot more, you know, it's a lot easier. So that might be something you want to do. All right, we'll just put that there. And now it wants us to do what? It wants us to hire a base overseer. So that's something we'll do when we're back at the space station. Now let's go back to this one, the primary mission, and see if it has any updates. It says expand and staff your new home. So what that's telling us basically is we need to go to the space station. See, I think people get confused a little bit at this point because it does take a lot of time having you build your base. So it kind of gives you the feeling like this is a place you're going to be coming back to often. But this initial base, I'm telling you, it really, it's just a tutorial base. Okay, so the place you find the people that will work at your base it can be they're in they're in every space station but usually they're in the back all right yeah so you'll find a room like this with dudes hanging out in it and you can hire these guys It doesn't really seem to make a difference which one you pick. All right, so I'm gonna hire him. You don't have to pay him anything. So, okay. <laughs> now it wants us to return to our base. And here we are back at the base. And there's the guy we hired. He lives at our base now. Okay, so let's see what it wants us to do. Construct terminals for specialist researchers and then recruit to recruit aboard space stations. So basically what the ghost in the machine mission is saying at this point is to keep constructing these uh, research terminals. Okay, so if we talk to this guy. He gave us a blueprint for glass. Now that's a good one. Let's talk to him again. So we just got a mission from him. To collect chromatic metal for, the, for him. So those guys will give you missions, but there's more than just that one terminal. All right, so we already had the chromatic metal on us, actually. So we can just go right back. Okay, so now we have the science terminal. And it wants us, does it want us to talk to him again?
Okay, mission updated, build the science terminal. So now as you can see, we will have a new terminal in here, which looks like this. We don't have the stuff to build it right now. So do we want to work on that? See, so all right, so this is a good example of points you'll get to in the game where it's like, okay, what do I do now? Should I keep building these terminals following that? or something else, I would say it's really up to you. It's really up to you on how you want to do this. Um, certain ones are not going to update for a while. Like this one, you just got to wait on. This one is the terminals. These two don't, these two are always here. So don't really look at those as sec as secondary missions. These ones down here are the ones that are the ones you actually need to do. These ones just kind of go on their on their own. Find a ter all right. So expanding the base, search an abandoning building for data. Okay, it's showing us where it is, and it is a little bit away, so we'll fly out there. Okay, now let's go in here. Now, these buildings, buildings like this, are all over the place in No Man's Sky. Um, usually, what's inside of them is a terminal. I'll take you through a little you know, a little bit of story. And if you do it right, sometimes you get a blueprint, sometimes you can get nanites, sometimes you get something else. But these, if you get them wrong, remember, you just did a save over here. So if you get it wrong, you can reload and do it again. One other important thing, these eggs contain larval cores. Larval cores can be refined into a lot of nanites. However, if I shoot this, loads of monsters are gonna come out. Maybe I'll show you before we leave. Okay, so come here to the haunted terminal. Do we have room to keep this? Because we could refine that. Okay, I guess that's all we had to do. Our inventory's full. Um, is there anything we could delete here? Uh, I guess silicate powder. That thing gives you units, the stock transfer. I mean, I don't know why it's a stock transfer. There's, it's not like something you need to opt into. You just find those sometimes. All right, let's get out of here. Actually, I probably should. I, for, I forget that we're not in the late game. In my late game, <laughs> I need to pick stuff up that's free. Okay. All right, now. <laughs> this is what happens if you shoot these. Yeah, a bunch of those are going to come after you. So, definitely something you could play around with later. I wouldn't suggest fighting with them this early in the game. But some people, as a way to get a lot of nanites, will go to those and shoot those egg things and uh, pick up the larval cores. Okay, so we're back. And it wants us to talk to him again. A 
Okay, and he just gave me the blueprint for another storage container. Okay, so at this point, we need to build the science terminal and hire a scientist. Um, yep, this one will just have us build the science terminal. So this one and this one are basically connected. This one's not updated yet. These don't do anything. Freighter command will do that next time we go to the freighter. Base computers we can't do. So, yeah, our only thing we can do right now, as far as missions, is this one. So, again, we need more magnetized spherite and more chromatic metal. All right, while that's going, I have a drop pod. We're gonna use the signal booster. Now the signal booster can find buildings on planets, it can find crashed ships on planets, it can do a lot, but we're gonna use it to find drop pods. I have a drop pod, one drop pod coordinated co coordinate data. So it's gonna look and it found a drop pod. Now, hopefully, we can use it because you have to repair the drop pod before you can use it. Now, what is the drop pod? The drop pod allows you to unlock uh, another slot in your exosuit anywhere you want for free. Because that gets really expensive as the game goes on to unlock all those slots. So when you find these drop pods, you always want to be looking for these. You know, until your suit's fully unlocked. Because I think to unlock a slot starts at like 5,000 units, then it goes up to 10,000, 20, and it just keeps going up till you get like in the millions or something. I can't, I can't remember exactly, but it gets expensive. So we may not be able to even repair this drop pod and use it because I don't know if I have all the materials, but we'll take a look. Let's put it down over here. There might be something useful in the building. All right, but that's still a little ways away. Let's go over there. All right, so when when you're running around planets like this, like I'm starting to get annoyed with my sprints, the lack of sprint I can do and the lack of jetpack. So that's kind of how you go about upgrading in this game. Like whatever is bothering you the most, like if you're if you hate your ship and you really want a new ship, then oh shoot. Be careful, don't fall. But yeah, so as far as upgrading goes, I say go with whatever is bothering you the most, like whatever you're annoyed with. Like if your jetpack is weak, or you're annoyed that you always constantly have to fill up your hazard protection, you can work on that. All right, so this is a drop pod. These are, you You might find it randomly on planets, you can find it with the signal booster, or if you have the drop pod coordinate data, you can use that in the signal booster, which will always point you to one. But these need to be repaired. See, so I need sodium nitrate, ionized cobalt, and antimatter. I don't have any of that stuff. But, at least we know where it is. So when we do have that stuff, we can come back and use that one. And we probably will be coming back because this is where we have our base. So yeah, early part of the game, your ba the, the base is kind of like a home base that you keep coming back to, but that's it's not gonna stay that way. We'll be moving on. 
Buildings like this are also on planets. Come in them. You can usually get some nanites. Some other stuff. They're worth checking out. And some are just empty. Alright, so let's go back to the base. Okay, and here we are. We're back. There's our signal booster. Ah, we ran out of fuel. Okay, now this is an exocraft. We got this blueprint before when we got a bunch of the blueprints. And this is like a dune buggy. This is the first one you get. When you build this though, it's gonna it sets off uh, it's gonna set off another bunch of missions because you actually get like I think there's five or six different types of vehicles in the game. So, we're not going to do that now. We'll just finish this science terminal one. So, while things are refining, always be trying to do something else. Look for salvage data. Um, any other things you might need. Alright, there's the magnetized. Okay, now we need more chromatic metal. Chromatic metal is a big thing. Like, you need it for to build a lot of stuff. Okay, now we can make the science terminal. Just put it there for now. And now it wants us to hire a scientist, just like we hired that guy to work at that terminal. So this is all the expanding the base mission. Base computer archives aren't ready. Sci hire a scientist, we need to do that. And uh, these are quiet for now. Now, the, you will find that, that the primary missions kind of get quiet for a little bit, and then something will pop up, so don't don't worry about that. So, okay, we got to go back to the space station to hire a scientist. Oh, uh, I know why. Okay, now that I... Look at that. I'm glad I made that mistake. <laughs> All right, so remember... The game does not work if you don't have the right mission selected. So the reason I actually had to go to another system. We're going to need to make a warp cell for that. Okay, so let's pull up the galaxy map. And as you can see, we got a little... place to go. Okay, so now let's go to the space station. You can see it's got the little icon over it, letting us know that we can get a scientist here. Oh, there we go. There he is. All right, so we hired the scientist. Now it wants us to go back to the base. All right, and here he is. 
now he works for me. Okay, he just gave us blueprints for acid and lubricant. Those those are needed for high-end craftables, uh, not something you would need early on. All right, so now he's given us a mission. He's going to teach us how to make microprocessors, and you do need to know that. So that's one you definitely want to do. You actually want to do all the missions from these guys. So, okay, I think we're going to wrap it up around here. But before we do, at this point, let's look at the log again. And it's going to keep us on this expanding the base for a while, a long time. Um, the same with the base computer archives. These are going to be here for a, a while. So expanding the base is going to have us keep building these terminals until we get them all. And these guys give us missions. I can go talk to him. He might... and he'll let's see what he does yeah he wants he wants microprocessors and he's also telling us we need a weapons terminal but all right so now that we have him and he's got us to do a thing he's going to teach us to make microprocessors to give to him which is kind of <laughs> which will then have us make another terminal. So right now it's having us set up all the terminals. And like I said, these guys will give you missions to do at your base, but you can put these terminals in any base you build. So this is just, it's just teaching you. And then it could, it's gonna, the, the expanding the base is gonna continue to building our exocrafts and things like that. But at any point, we could just go off and explore. We could go try and make money. And I think that's probably what we'll do in the next episode. We might take a break from doing the missions. And I might show you how to get some upgrades and get some money. And we'll open some more slots in our suit. Maybe get a new ship, something like that. But, okay, there you have it for that one. Um, I hope that was helpful to you in some way i know uh it took me a really long time to record and i think when i cut it though it's gonna be not too long but i will try and get the next uh episode up as soon as i can thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you have a really great day all right bye bye